Yeah, all shit show. <laughs> so what's uh, who started this? This started with Yoel. Uh, so, so Yoel, uh, here's, here's the first one right there. Uh, at DC underscore MMA. Congratulations to you for Saturday. I want to see you soon, boy. See, even the way he spells boy, it's so obvious. Give the people what they want to see. Me and I love you, two, 205 in New York. It's almost embarrassing. All right, keep going. Yeah. And then he put this, which is a kind of jacked up. So you're telling me you all knows how to, first of all, bring up, get a photo of John Jones kicking DC in the face yeah. and uh, edit it and then post it. Come on. Um, and then he goes on, he shows a picture of John Jones kicking DC in the face after his last loss. And he put the last time somebody failed a grade and moved up a class, uh, looked like it worked good. <laughs> He's like trying to make bad yeah. English, but it's yeah. so obvious. And then post uh, UL's wrestling credentials. Yeah, it's just a bunch. Because what they don't have on here. And then looking at your Romero's MMA uh, in regards to confidence. So I took the opportunity to take a break from posting all UL stuff myself to <laughs> jump it on my account and posting this wrestling credentials. And I think everyone's pretty aware of UL's wrestling, wrestling credentials. Um, I, I don't know if this is the way. So what's DC say to all this? Hey, at Yo Romero, here's the difference between you and me. You've missed weight in your last two fights. And I've won two belts in my last two fights. You're also 0-2 in your last two title fights. Boy, <laughs> I still keep dreaming. Hey, get Malky off your Twitter. It's embarrassing. Yeah, I find this embarrassing. Yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of back and forth, but it's basically you all calling out DC, and DC's not, yeah, not entertaining it. Tell you what, you all DC though, that's a fun fight. Yeah, it is. Um, shout out to Below the Belt, shout out to Chin, shout out to Brendan Sharp, super Brendan Sharp from now on, ladies and gentlemen, for handling Dana White. Man, I don't even, he ragged all Dana White, man. He really ragged all Dana White verbally on Instagram. Thank you for that. Listen, we'll, we'll talk about that later. As for this, Daniel Cormier versus Yoel Romero. I've said for about a year now that I want to see those two gentlemen first grapple against each other, some sort of um, grappling contest, you know, jiu-jitsu match, something. And then I would like to see them fight each other. Simply because of their um, wrestling pedigree, I think we shouldn't ignore the fact that both of these men are Olympians. Both of them are easily... Two of the most decorated wrestlers to ever walk into MMA. And to not exercise that part of this contest would be a, a cruelty to grappling in general. As for this fight happening, I don't think it's time yet. Um, the reason being, Yoel Romero is still in um, middleweight. Uh, recently... You know, he fought Robert Whitaker in what I would call um, a draw. Uh, but beside the outcome of that fight, he's had like a couple of other issues. The fact that he's missed weight twice. So it doesn't necessarily seem like a dope fight. And let's not act like Yoel Romero is a pay-per-view superstar. You know, he, his numbers are well within normal range in pay-per-view, so I don't think this would tickle the fancy of Dana White, <clears throat> but for the MMA diehard, I think this fight would be a dope finishing fight for Daniel Cormier, if the John Jones fight never happens, and even if it does, I would love to see this fight regardless. Again, the wrestling pedigree of both men makes me want to see this fight. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I am out. How do you feel about it? Yeah, Conor McGregor, you're taking everything I work for, my. I'm gonna fight you. You know what's the real fight? What's the real money fight? Is me, not these clowns that you already punked in the press conference. Don't no one want to see that. You know you beat them already. That's the easy fight. You want that real? Right here. Hey, and I'm not. Unfortunately, we can't talk like that on Fox.